Hey, what's up, LES families? Listen, Mr. Riley, our first full week of this school year is complete. So we made it all five days. It's been fantastic. So we have had a great week with your kids. Uh, a couple of items that we want to make sure we hit, uh, just to clarify some things when you're traveling to and from school, arrival and dismissal. Number one, uh, behind me is the road where most cars pull in. Uh, and one of the things we want to ask you to do is Please park in the parking spots. One of the things we don't want is people parking in the grass as that gets really muddy, tears the grass up. We have plenty of open spots. All of our staff are parking in the back lot, so that is open for you. Number two, there's all kinds of cones out here, and that is because what we like to do is after school, when we do the dismissal piece, uh, if you're picking up in the car line, uh, you'll be placed in one of those lines, probably about 12 cars deep. We want to make sure that you are safe, your kids are safe, and just please follow the instructions of the teachers and the aides out there that are giving you direction as to where to go. Watch out for each other. We've had a couple of fender benders. Make sure you watch out for the person in front or behind you. We would greatly appreciate it. And in the mornings, the Kenny Road, uh, we open the gates around 8, 825-ish, 830, and sometimes I forget, so it's my fault. I apologize for that. But make sure you're not blocking Kenny Road for the buses to pull in because they need room to make that turn and we are greatly appreciate. But other than that, we've had a great first week. We've got some highlights for you coming from Friday Faves here in a second. Dr. Gallagher from the Hard Hat. We'll be talking a little bit about her program and what we're doing here with We Before Me and Joy London. See ya. Be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. And then here I am also in my school in Long Island being a school psychologist making calming uh, jars, I think we were. I was teaching mindfulness there. And here's, this is an old school picture. This is when my son was in first grade. This was my first soccer team. So this was my first coaching experience where I realized it didn't matter what I taught them. I just, they were like feral cats. Like, just, <laughs> like, even if it, right? it was all Hey, Atlanta Elementary family. We are excited for Dr. Gallagher to bring the hard hat here. We are the first Ohio school to implement the hard hat for kids. And what you're gonna see out of us is that this year, we'll focus on 10 ways to be a great teammate. All of our kids will be getting into the teams throughout the school year. Dr. Gallagher has put together a great plan for us to follow. She read the book to the kids. We even published it as part of our read aloud series uh, this week. So, thank you so much, Dr. Gallagher, for your participation in that. Let's roll. So we traveled, we traveled all over the United States. We even went to Europe. And we played in Denmark and Iceland, and we just had a grand old time. Mr. Johnson, what is happening right now? Today is a reward for the fifth graders' behavior for the week. All the kids that stayed on white and earned their behavior goal, they get to participate in our Friday fun, and this week's Friday fun was the blob. What is the blob, Mr. Uh, Johnson? The blob is a game where one kid is uh, determined the blob, and then they go around and try to uh, touch other kids, and if they tag other kids, then that kid becomes part of the blob. They lock arms, and then they're on the prowl again to get other kids to be a part of their blob. Once they get to 10, they have to separate into groups of five. 
Well, you know what? This is a great way to end our week with the Blob Game. We hope you all have just as much fun as we're having here at London Elementary. We'll see you on Monday. Take care.